Uh, Monokuma. Yep. Monokuma. Yep. Oh Supervisor. My oh my god. Lighting. <laughs> oh my god, that's of crazy. course. Wow. Yeah. That's that's ever that. Oh, here's the cast. Do do you know these people? These they're from last game, no? No, they're from this game. Oh, they are from this Kazuryu game. Kazuryu right, right, is right, is right, Fuyuhiko. That's right. That's right. Hmm? Producer Supreme Monokuma. Okay, oh, great. But well, wait, just now. See? See? Didn't I tell you? What you want to know is gonna be on there. Yay, congrats. Miracle, congratulations. You have finally beaten Twilight Syndrome Murder Case. Now that you guys have played this game through the end, you should already know. This game is a non-fiction game based on an actual past incident. Is that true? Non-fiction means an original story based on... Yeah, I know what that means. Hey, answer my question. But even if this is non-fiction, you guys probably don't remember it. Well, that can't be helped. The school life you no longer remember is the setting for this story. Our school life. At any rate, congratulations. Now then, as for the ending prize that I'm supposed to give you as a reward, I won't give it to you. Ending prize? There was only one ending prize, and I already gave it to the first person who beat it. How disappointing. Okay, great. Did you say Annoying. ending prize? Like, I was told the same thing when I beat it, too. Aww. Great. Man, I was too late. If I'd known something like this was going to happen, I would have played the game sooner. So what does that imply? That a murder took place know. at Hope's Peak before I guess, this happened? I guess. Oh, hey. Yeah. That was the ending prize. But the ending prize isn't the problem. It's what Monokuma said earlier. He mentioned how he used our school life as the setting of the game. Just as I thought, so it's connected to that time, too. But is it really true? We were already living our school lives, and our memories were completely taken. Is something that crazy possible? Then what did they do to us? It looks like there's something on your mind. Uh huh? Perhaps. Monokuma probably said the same thing to everyone else who's beaten this game. That this game is non-fiction. That it's the missing link that existed in our forgotten school memories. Yeah, so... So do you believe it? Do you really believe our memories were taken? I don't know, but instead of thinking about that right now, we gotta focus on solving this mystery first. Yep. Whether we believe it's the motive or not, it's clear that a murder did occur. Yep, they, that happens sometimes. If that's the case, then I need to question them directly. If I do that, I might be able to learn something. You're talking about the people whose characters appear in the game, right? Then I'll go too. Alright, that's right. If I get some information from them, I might find out about the thing. About the mystery behind my hero's death, about whether this game is true, and if we really had our school memories taken. Then let's hurry and ask the others. And while you're at it, ask them how it feels to be characters in the game. Wow. <laughs> uh, also, if you want to gather your thoughts about the content of the game, talk to me anytime. What, are we having a fucking analysis party? I see, thanks. That's a huge help. I don't know where they are right now, but we won't learn anything. Alright, let's go. Alright, so off to looking for people. Hello there. Oh, fuck you. Why, hello, Ch Hajime and Chaki? The timing's too perfect. You were waiting here, weren't you? you caught me? Yeah, we did. Wouldn't it be best if we traveled together? If you've beaten the game, we must think similarly, right? Maybe I'm being a little too conceited. A guy like me, thinking similarly to you guys. It's okay, just make your point. Oh. There was an airport on the first island, right? I told them to meet up there. Them? Why the characters who appeared in the game, of course. The girls must be busy with their investigations, too. Be a waste of time if we both question them, though. If you wanted to hear what they have to say, you should come with me. I'll go on ahead and wait for you guys. What should we do? Hmm, I guess the only thing... We can do is go. I guess you're right. Yeah, it leaves a bad taste in our mouths to be accomplice, to be ally allying ourselves with him. But what can you do? And I should probably teleport. He said uh, the the uh, the what's it called? The the place, the airport. So let's. Yeah, I gotta teleport over here. Uh, which way is the airport? That way? Yeah. I don't know. <sighs> so any idea who the killer is yet? No. None. No clue? Alright. So here's the airport. Now it's time to question some people. And get some get some accounts. Get some accountants to do our taxes. <laughs> ah, Hajime over here. Yep, Mikani, Buki, Hyoku are all here. The names on the staff roll for they were that. Sukimi, Koizumi, Sayonji, Miyoda, Sato, Kazuryu. I really wanted Fuyuhiko to come to me. How can you say those names? I because I, I'm, Jap I'm half Japanese. Yeah, you should But he know. locked sure himself in his cottage and wouldn't come was, out for me. Uh, half black. No, so I, I just, I'm used okay. to Japanese names. So unfortunately, he's absent. It's probably because I'm so incompetent, I apologize. I'm, I'm a major weeb. I hate this kid. 
Huh? It's okay to be absent? I thought you said we're getting executed if we didn't come. Yeah, yeah, she's she's girl B, the bitch. Executed? I mean, you said Monokuma had something important to tell us, right? We came because you told us that. Oh, you manipulative dick. Sorry, that was a lie. Oh, a lie? Girl, you tricked us. What the heck? Fine, then I'm leaving. Wait. Can you wait until we finished our business with you, right, Hajime? This is like, I'm on the same team as Nagito, which I don't like. No, I can't focus on that right now. I have to get information. All right, so let's get info. What's up? That's not fair. I can't believe you actually tricked us so we come to this place. Hmm. I have nothing to say to impotent, regular people like <laughs> impotent? you. Impotent? Impudent. Impudent. Do you know what impotent yeah, means? Yeah, I know what that is. Good. Regular, huh? She's right that I might be a regular guy, but I also have an ultimate talent. Or at least I should have one. Uh, okay. Hey, hey that's me. Do, do you have a minute? There's something I want to mm. ask you. Have you played Twilight Cinder Murder Boys? No, since we said we weren't going to play that game. Also, I'm not really good at video games. I'm pretty slow and I panic instantly. <laughs> so you'd probably be a good FPS player. First person shooter. Her timid toad, I'm pretty sure the girl A character was like that too. Hey, hey. Hey, anyway, can you tell me about Ugh. your relationship with Maharihi? Maharihi? <laughs> <laughs> Relationships with Mahari? She went from she went from a celebrity to a Hawaiian <laughs> to No, no, she's a Maharihi, she's an Indian. Oh, okay. I first met her. Um, when we first gathered at the classroom with everyone else. And after arriving at the island, I did have a few conversations with her, but... Um, could it be? Did Mahuri Ma hate me? <laughs> the Maori tribe? That's definitely it, she hated me! She doesn't know anything. No, it's more like she doesn't remember anything. But even though she hated me for, for her to actually invite me, she must have been a really kind person. I invite? Um... Mahuri invited me this morning. <laughs> this morning? She looked very serious and she was wondering if we could all meet up so she could discuss something. But I already had plans to go to the beach so I had to decline because I needed to prepare for that. And when I did, she made this lonely face and said that she'd reschedule for another day. Okay. But if I, if I only went with her, this wouldn't have happened. Yeah, it probably would have anyway. Mahiru invited Mikan. Why? All right, now, now to uh, the Ibukis. Hey, Ibuki, can I ask you something? Bring it on. Have you played Twilight? Uh, go away, Hitoshira. Have you played uh, Twilight Sinja Murder Case? Well, that's a computer game, right? I'm basically awful at those things. Are you? Ibuki's a tough girl, so I don't touch anything powered by electricity except electric guitars. Why? I'm pretty sure that's a lie, but now's not the time to really dwell on something like that. Her unique tone and hyper energy, there was a character like this in the game, too. Let me ask you one more thing. What's the relationship between you and Mahiru? Um, you mean that in a perverted way? Yes. No, in a normal way. Well, even if you ask me that, Ibuku's, Ibuku, Ibuku. Ibuki's encounter with Maharuhi was, um... Uh, when I asked Mariah this morning to go to the beach with us, she made this real disappointing face. Uh... A disappointing face? Yeah, but disappointment varies depending on the person. Mabuki associates it with department store rooftops. How can what you associate fuck? anything with what? that? Let's stay focused on Mahiru and not fucking nonsense. That's totally it. it turns Ugh. out Mahiru had some business too and she wanted to invite <laughs> me to that instead. Wow, you pronounced her name. That's right. She said something like, I was thinking about meeting with everyone, but if you already have plans... Um, do you know what she meant by everyone? Nope. I didn't ask. I see. Mahiru invited Ibuki. Why? Okay. Looks like we've obtained some pretty valuable testimonies based on that. It seems like Mahiru also beat the game. Why do you know that? Know. If she hadn't, she wouldn't have chosen those people to talk to. Because she beat the game, she talked to the people who appeared in that game. <laughs> Just like what we're doing right now. But in her case, it was much more serious, probably. I mean, she was forced to learn that she was involved in that game. That's true. But I'm surprised I never thought... Mahiru would play that game. <laughs> it's true, that was unexpected. Nagito, didn't you didn't you tempt her into playing that game? Huh? What? I remember. Yeah, what the fuck did you say? Anyway, what happened to Mahiru? Did she leave? Uh... Yeah, well, no, uh... Yeah, so he tempted her. Wait, you tempted her, right? Just like you did to me. Tempt? That's a rude thing to say. 
That, yeah, disrespectful toward my hero. Right? No way her feelings would change just because a useless guy like me tempted her. At that time, she was already considering giving that game a try. All I did was give her a little push. Well, fuck you! It's still your fault, then. That's all it was. What the heck? More importantly, isn't it better if we listen to what she has to say? She's being quiet as ever. I'm counting on you, Hyoko. Hmm. If Mahiru spoke to everyone who appeared in the game, she should have talked to you too, right? Hmm. Well, Hyoko? <laughs> she never talked to me at all. Wow. Well, Ma'am, what a surprise. I didn't expect you to ask me such an easy question. Bye. So I'm just going to go back to my cottage now. Well, that was... Ah, hey, Hyoko. Ignoring my voice, Hyoko ran away as though she were avoiding me. Looks like it's okay to say she ran away. Yeah, she's clearly suspicious. That's pretty much decided. Decided? Regardless, it looks like we're finished here, so why don't we part ways for now? Well, there's still something I need to investigate. I'll see you again later. Uh, 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 what the heck is his problem? Even his exit was pushy. Jackie, what should we do? Should we go back to the scene of the crime one more time and investigate? It's very important to investigate the scene of the crime, but let's go over to Mahiru's cottage first. Mahiru's cottage? If she beat that game, it's best if we investigate there, I think. She might have that. What? A vibrator? Oh, the oh. ending prize. If that's the case, I'll go with you. You're okay with that, right? Hmm. That's your cue to say yes? Mm hmm I guess? Okay. Off to the cottage, and then it should be time for the trial, I think. Uh, off to the cottage. So, so girl D was Mahiru. The, the one that confronted the girl right, about right, having right, the right, photo. Right, 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 And then, uh, and so she was bullied. Right. According to that. And then the girl that bullied her was killed. And then the girl that killed was killed. Uh, where, where is... Where is her co cottage? Cabbage? That's not her cabbage. Uh... I find her red hat. Where are you? Where are you? There. No, that that's a Kane. Wait. Ne ne no. There, there you go. There, yep. Let's get in here. The door looks unlocked. Moving out through you told would be two third rates, so I made sure to be one step ahead. However, removing what's inside is a huge no-no. Others who want to investigate? Okay, great. I guess I should go inside, like like a guy. That... Okay, so in the cottage, here we are. Oh, hey, it's a uh, it's a thing. I gotta I gotta mm. get that over there. Compared to my room, the cottage has a had a somewhat pleasant smell wafting through the room. It was farts <laughs> that proves my room was here, but she's not coming back. <laughs> yeah. Then I should try looking for a naughty book. Why? Why? Yeah, why? Now, now, I was only kidding. Kidding? Are you that kind of person? Geez, well, at least I don't feel nervous anymore. Wait, could that be the reason she said that? But it looks like we don't need to search for it. Check out that thing on top of the bed. On top of the bed? But first, I'm gonna get this back here. What's up? Surfer, surfer, kum surfo, kuma. All right, yay. Coins. Well, that was clever. Well, yeah, you, you gotta get the hiddens, the okay. hidden ones. All right, so let's take a look at this. Ugh, at the vanilla, manila envelope. Whenever anyone said manila envelope when I was a kid, I thought they were saying vanilla envelope. Okay, and I ahead. tried to eat it. No, you didn't. I you never did, but I... I yeah, go. Okay, there's an envelope on top of the bed. Hey, hey. Could it be? This might be it. The... That's still you. The Sorry. ending prize Monokumo gave to the first person who beat the game. What's inside the envelope? Let's, Let's find it out. I turned over the envelope, and what came falling out was a few photos. Ah, this photo. Oh shit! It's oh, them! Oh my god. This is... A photo of Mikani, Buki, and Hyoko in what oh appears to be some sort of entrance hall. <laughs> it's just like that game. Yeah, did you notice the yeah, piano yeah. room? Yeah. That's yeah. the same as in the first game. It's, right, right. So, yeah. There was a similar scenario during the first day in the Twilight's True Edition. Girl B was in a bad mood because Girl A was late, and Girl D tried to cheer her up by taking her picture. Is this the photo she took? Okay. Mm, maybe. So there we go. Interesting. Yep. Look at this photo, too. Oh. Yep, Ooh. those are flowers. A broken, broken vase. Up. That's you. Is that the same photo Girl D showed Girl E on the third day? As I recall, a broken vase was in the classroom next to the music room. Well, didn't we already have that clue? I guess not. All right. But this photo is more shocking. As Chiaki showed the photo to me, I was stunned into silence. Oh no! Who, mm. who is that? This is the actual photo of a dead body. Yep. Since there's a piano behind the body, it looks like it's the music room. 
If that's the case, could this be the photo of the first victim? Apparently. You mean it's the victim of the murder that occurred on the first day? Oh. Yeah, the one that blamed that they blamed on the pervert. Oh no. And who is that? Looks like someone, but not entirely someone. And one more. This is the last photo. Uh oh. Hmm. Oh yeah, that's we already saw that, right. but it's different oh. now. This is probably the photo of girl E after she got killed on the fourth day. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, it nearly matches her body in the game. Yep. Yeah, there's no mistake. This is a photo of girl E. I wonder who the model for that is in the, no in the game no one. Idea. 